Pimenta nos olhos dos outros é refresco. Oi, gente, tudo bem com vocês? Bem-vindos de volta para um novo vídeo. Então hoje eu vou falar sobre expressões brasileiras. Expressões brasileiras. I have some new viewers lately and some new subscribers, so I want to welcome you. Meu nome é Jake. Eu sou britânico. Estou aprendendo português por ver vários métodos. Maybe reaction videos, um, videos like this where I tried to learn Brazilian expressions. Loads of other ways, just many different ways and I'm documenting it on YouTube. So if you don't know already, that's what I'm all about. And in my channel, I also try to help Brazilians that are trying to learn English, mostly by speaking English and putting these subtitles here. And also I have some videos um, that I've made previously about British English and certain phrases we have and ways to speak British English. So make sure you do check out all my other videos that I made in the past. But anyway, I'm gonna stop waffling on. There's one for you to learn. Let's get on with this. So like I said, if you haven't already, say and subscribe to my channel, the button's down there. Give a like as well, because the video YouTube likes likes. So the more likes you give, the more YouTubes will like my video. So uh, give a like. Follow me on Instagram if you want as well. I'm also on Instagram, Falecom Jake. Oh, it's uh, St. Patrick's Day today, so... Um, <laughs> Da! A Guinness, of course. Happy St. Patrick's Day and cheers. So I've been sent some expressions on Instagram. I've made a video like this in the past. Okay, um pedo pra quem ta cagado. Not gonna lie to you guys, I have no idea what that means. So I'm gonna get straight into it and put it into Google Translate. What is a fuck for those who shit? <laughs> so this is the part two video because there's many expressions in Brazilian Portuguese. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and learn them. Basically, I'm gonna try and guess what they mean. I'm also gonna use the assistance of Google Translator. I know Google Translator is not exactly the most reliable, especially when it comes to expressions, but it's funny to see what it says in English. So I'm gonna do that as well. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get on with it. Why waste any more time? And the first one I have is Milkaio Os Butia do Bolso. Bolso is handbag? It's very difficult this one because I don't know any of those words. So I'm gonna use Google Translate. The butchia fell out my pocket. It's not making any sense. Pass, don't know what it means. No idea, put in the comments if you know. Proximo, santo do pau oco. I know what pau means. So I feel like it's gonna be a bad expression, like a, a almost like a curse word. Hollow stick saint. Hollow stick saint, saint. No idea what that means. I know stick is pau, but pau is also penis. I don't know. Again, second one failed. I have no idea what that means. Fida pesci. Fida pesci. These are all difficult, to be honest. So, fi is apparently short for filio. Filo da pesci. Not that that helps me because I still don't have a clue what it means. Son of the plague. That's an interesting one. We don't have an expression like that in, in English that is very much uniquely Brazilian. So congratulations on that one. That's very good. Quite a horrible thing to say, isn't it? Son, son of the plague. Proximo nem com nojo. Hashtag Manuara. Manuara is like someone who's from Manaus. Am I correct? Let me know in the comments. It's a guess. Nothing with... Nothing with... Them, nothing with nojo. The hell is nojo? Just says in Google Translate. Not disgusted. Not disgusted. I'm not doing very well here. Proximo. Oh Jesus. I'm not gonna know this. Da no em gotera. Give. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. Gutter not. What's a gutter not? I need to get one right. I'm probably not gonna get any right. Esta na seca supindo pelas. Pahegis. Pahegis. I recognize this word. Pahegis is wool, isn't it? Esta na seca sobindo pelas. I can't, I can't, I can't do this. Be in the drought climbing up the walls. Is this something to do with flooding? No, not flooding. Is it flooding? Nah, I don't know. I don't know. Jake, you need to guess. 
I can't. I don't know why it is. I don't know like, why it is. Like when he's dry, it was like, uh, and you, tr like when you don't have sex for a long time, and then wolves or like like cats, you know, I don't know. Anyway, moving on to the next one. <laughs> Suave na nev navi. The only thing I know in this sentence is swa, and I heard it in a film, a Brazilian film, some young guy said swa. Also I had someone sent me a, a, a message on Instagram and just said suave, and I ignored it because this guy is way too cool for me and I'm not ready for those type of slangs yet. So yeah, suave, I know it's a slang in, in Brazilian Portuguese, <laughs> and swa na nevi, navi means, uh, what does it mean? You're the coolest in the room. Smooth on the ship. Smooth on the ship. So is that like, um, I don't know what that's like. <laughs> what does that mean? The smoothest guy on the ship, no? Like the guy, when, when the ship's all rocky, there's one guy who's not phased by it all. And he's just there looking cool as hell. I'm gonna give myself that one, no? Because I said something about him being cool. Next one. Da uma de João sem braço. Don't give João a hug. That's my guess. I don't know, Joao is like a guy who, who's not a nice person. Yeah, so he's not getting a hug. I'm gonna type it into Google Translate anyway. Give John an armless. Uh, that's confusing. What does that mean? Okay, let's, let's move on to the next one. Costa os olhos da cara. Olhos, eyes, da cara, face. Oh, maybe it's like putting your eyes back in your head. I think I'm making it up. But is it something like that? Oh god. It costs the eyes of the face. Costa is cost, isn't it? What a nightmare. <laughs> I've failed on every one. It costs the eyes of the face. Oh, like something like um something that's very difficult. Like maybe something that um it's gonna gonna cost you your eyes. It's gonna like what what other eyes? It says eyes of the face, but what other eyes do you have? It's only gonna be the eyes of your face. I don't know why. It says olios de cara, it's pretty obvious, it's the eyes of your face, no? And the eyes of your, your arm, or your, your nose, the eyes of your leg, it's always going to be the eyes of your face. Anyway, what does that mean? Something that's expensive, I reckon. It's got to be, isn't it? Something that's expensive. I need to get one right. <laughs> okay, so in English we say, cost you an arm and a leg, which is, I guess, probably similar. It's literally going to cost you your arm and your leg, to buy something. Se acha a última bolacha do pacote. If you think this is the last biscuit pacote, biscuit is bolacha, no? Okay, so I'm gonna take a, a guess. I'm gonna guess that this means if you think this is the last, last no, bollocks. She thinks she's the last cookie in the pack. Okay, so this is pretty obvious, right? Someone who thinks they're amazing they think they're great yeah! they think they're the last biscuit they think they're the last cookie i do like that one actually very usable proximo murma murma that's difficult murma i'm trying to pronounce it correctly if you're wondering what i'm doing murma no chi fais <laughs> every time i see the accent i just suddenly think i've got to do that heavy on the knees or something murma <laughs> No chi fais chi doida que pão chi acha. That's quite a complex sentence, isn't it? The doida is crazy. Uh, this is difficult. Muito, muito difícil. I need to improve on my Brazilian expressions. Whoa! Mummy doesn't make you crazy what a dick finds you. What the hell does that mean? It says mummy doesn't make you crazy it's like cease. what a dick finds you. <laughs> What does that mean? All right, I'm not even gonna pretend that I know what this one means. It's muy too difícil. Put in the comments if you can explain it perfectly. Any of these that, that I've got wrong, which is pretty much most of them, just put in the comments because um, I'm gonna learn them. That's the whole point in this video. I'm going to learn these phrases. So make sure you put in the comments and explain to me, help me out here. Poggi, poggi tira o cavalinho da chuva. Can take the 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 horse in the rain. Did I translate that right? The more I think about these, the more complicated they're getting. 
Everyone's difficult. Every single one I've did is difficult. In the last video, I actually got some right. So make sure you go check that last video out right? because this video I feel stupid. You can take the horse out of the rain, but you can't take the rain out of the horse. No idea. No idea. Does anyone know what I mean? I don't know. Again, post in the comments if you know. Next one. Está con o estogmago nas costas. I am with the something in the costas. Having a stomach in the back. Having a stomach in the back. It literally, it, 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 it literally, it translates having a stomach in the back. In my back, like a heavy stomach. It's like your stomach going your back. Like it, it, so it doesn't make sense. You, you like if you were saying oh, my stomach's in my back, you'd think that you've been on like a roller coaster or something, like it's because your stomach is like it moves when it's on a roller coaster. If you're hungry, your stomach's empty. <laughs> it's not funny. Anyway, moving on to the next one. Camarón que dormi a onda lever. The shrimp that slept The shrimp that slept, just a shrimp that slept That's all it is Shrimp sleeping on the wave takes <laughs> The shrimp on the wave catches the most food yeah! The early bird catches the worm I feel like it kind of makes sense, it's logical Pimenta nos olios dos Outros e refresco. Uh, pepper in someone else's eyes is refreshing. Yes. So this is for like someone you don't like, huh? You put pepper in their eyes. Because <laughs> you don't like them. It's got to be that, right? Something like that. It's, it's very um, spiteful, very nasty, but yeah, let's go with that. We'll take a look in Google Translate anyway. Pepper in the eyes of others is refreshment. I believe, personally, that this is to do with karma. It's like uh, you get a taste of your own medicine, is what we say in English. It's like when someone does something... Uh, when somebody, someone is, is not very nice to someone and then they do something bad, and then something bad happens to them. It's like the karma. So we say uh, you've got a taste of your own medicine. <laughs> something funny? O que que? O cu tem a ver com a causa. A cu is ass, isn't it? What the ass has and sees with the causa. What's causa? What the ass sees with trousers. That's weird. This seems like a really strange expression. What the ass has to do with the pants. The ass is in the trousers or pants, but they're not actually related. They've got nothing to do with each other. They, they, they're just irrelevant. It's irrelevant. It's all irrelevant. What are you talking about? It's all irrelevant. Okay, o cu tem a ver com a causa. You're talking rubbish. Que mais? O so bom se why? 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 I know why is like a, a Minas slang, Minas Gerais slang. Oi, just bon se. Bon? I don't know what bon is. Se is like an abbreviation for você. I don't know. I'm going to take a wild guess. It's just like uh, saying, how are you? How's it going? Why? And they just say why anywhere. People from Minas Gerais, they just say it anywhere. Why? 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 Just randomly, just put anywhere. That's what I've learned anyway. Okay, last one. Ultima. Expressoing. O vai o hasha. O vai o hasha. You going or or you, you staying? Hasha. I don't even know what hasha means. Let's just take a look. Let's get this over and done with. I'm in pain. Sink or swim. That's easy. It's either you fight or you lose. It's just o vai o hasha. That's the philosophy of life. O o vai o hasha. O vai o hasha. So guys, that is it. Yeah, I don't think I did a very good job there. It was very difficult. Some of those expressions didn't translate very well. I couldn't really understand them, but I gave it my best. Um, so now it's the next process where you put in the comments and you're going to teach me all these expressions. 
and hopefully I will learn and take him to Brazil with me. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see any other types of videos, let me know, put in the comments, um, any suggestions, any things you want to see, anything I can help you with. Say inscribe no my canal. Me sigue no Instagram, palicom chick. Ati my logo. Ciao. Long nap.